A lot of people thought it was going to be a pushover team, but they're showing that maybe that's not necessarily true. Secret go for this Sven, though, with her last pick, and maybe... Is this a, a support. support Sven? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Wow. It's going to be pretty good. It's going to give them a lot of armor, and I'm actually... Hmm. I'm not sure why they have this troll pick. I, I like their the rest of the draft, but troll they didn't really pick anything to synergize with the attack speed buff that he's gonna give the rest of the team. I mean this they is, have the potum, but that's not I feel like if you ever pick that to right click, I mean there are very situational cases where I like it. But other than that, maybe a Meepo to a certain extent because of just the clones that you have, but I'm even kind of questionable about that. This was actually, Troll was a hero that Kuroki grabbed for Team Secret not too long ago and didn't have much success with it. And I'm not really using the hero either. He's got really great early game potential, but I don't know, man. I'm not sure what you think about it. Yes, that's that's the hero. Um, I think you, you really have to have it with... A hero that can carry you into the late game. I actually really like Troll and Void together. Yes. But outside of that, I mean, sure, we've seen it win games, but mm, what was it the reason that you won a game? I don't think it's ever the uh, the hero that you say, this hero won us the game. So, yeah, I, I sort of tend to agree with you that it's not really a, it's not a really a game-changing hero pick. I think it was fine back before they nerfed it, honestly. I mean, it, he was picked oh, off, I mean, and yes, he was but... extremely strong. I mean, not only was he nerfed in the mid lane, but they nerfed uh, pooling, so he no longer really able to start with that poor man shield in the mid lane. Sure, he might be able to start it in one of the side lanes, but... He actually has a poor man shield and two pool tangos um, as we speak. And I, that, it is Grazine playing the Troll Warlord. It's important to note. He's played the mid every match we've seen him in, so... Might be an interesting choice. Kuroki mid currently, and uh, again, the dual lane's going to come out. I mean, it's going to be Big Daddy and Kuroki, and you have to expect it. I mean, regardless of having a Troll Warlord mid, this is going to be another pretty good lane for Team Secret. So, for your squad, for my insanity, on your dire side, the uh, Serb slash Bosnian slash Croatian squad. We'll have Hatawa playing your Ogre Magi. Mitch going to be playing your Marana. Looks like we'll be playing, uh, Lizard's gonna be on the Meepo again. No surprise there. Grazine on your Troll Warlord. And top lane, it is gonna be Milan playing your Safe Lane Jakiro with the Dual Ring of Protection build coming out for, uh, Milan, so. And then for Team Secret in the top lane, it's gonna be S4 playing the Solo Puck. In the mid lane, we're gonna have Kuroki being supported by Big Daddy Meltail on his Wisp. We're gonna have Puppy playing the Sven. Body blocks are kept through. Well, they tether gonna... up as well. They already they got arrow first. Kuroki doesn't have waveform, so it really comes down to Puppy and Big Daddy getting this I think kill. This is actually a kill. Puppy eats through, and they have a right click to get this kill from Io. Easily done. They notice the arrow coming out. They're like, "Well, you don't have leap. You're actually just gonna die." So Puppy just runs at him, and the tether came through. That was a very smart play. And then last but not least for Secret, we have Simba playing that safe lane Doom, so... I mean, and that's their position one bottom as well. Yeah, so Mitch trying to get involved early on. I think that was Mitch anyways, uh, yeah, playing the Marana with the arrow. And I'm surprised he, he just didn't go to lane. I mean, you want to get snipes with the Marana, but maybe not in that position. So he goes mm -hmm. down and... Well, he's going to head back towards the bottom lane now. It looks like Hatawa's here as well, looking to maybe throw up a ward. And Simba's going to run right into him. They're going to exchange right clicks. No Devour for Doom yet. He's looking for a camp to use it on. Puppy's going to come in, and they're going to actually just get another kill here. Hatawa's oh like, I, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm actually just dead. Fire Blast is going to go. Who's going to get it this time? It is going to get Puppy another <laughs> kill, or rather his first kill. But, uh, well, what a start. <laughs> and... I mean, they just they keep rotating this wisp around, and this wisp Sven is just doing work in this early game. <sighs> now it's, it's, it's two minutes in, and already the the IO is doing work. Yeah, and Sven probably gonna pick up those boots. So a really fast start for Puppy. It looks like Simba has moved into the jungle to give Puppy a little bit of space to get some levels mm -hmm. and gold. Simba found an alpha wolf. Just the. <laughs> It doesn't get much worse for MYI. I guess the Alpha Wolf's not the worst thing in the world, but... 
could be better, I suppose, for MY right now. Grazine, he is sitting kind of far back. Luckily, he has the range axis to work with here to get last hits, but Kuroki again, and we see it time and time again. Kuroki off to a fast start with 13 last hits, and I mean, can't really say much else than that. Like, he's just so good. It's just ridiculous. Grazine is having a rough time as well, so. And I honestly don't even think this is a good matchup, even if it was a 1v1. To be perfectly honest, but especially in that 2v1 matchup, Razine having a difficult time already chewing through his pooled region with his poor man shield and not enough gold currently for that bottle, so. Right now, this uh, this poor position Meepo is already looking like it's going to have to do a lot of work here, and it's going to be difficult at the very best. There is a rotation from Puppy. I don't know if they've noticed it. I don't think there's an Observer War from the Radiant Squad. And this was placed a while ago, so they might have seen the rotation over, and this is why Grazine is actually back underneath the tower. They, they did see the rotation over coming out from this Observer Ward, so... Unless Grazine makes a mistake and, and moves even an inch closer, I think, to Kuroki, he probably should stay alive, but they might even just dive this tower to kill him when it's all said and done. They're actually going to dive. Overcharge. The Storm Hammer is going to fly the waveform, and yeah, they just get a kill. That... that that's about as okay of a position that you could be in, and they don't even care. They just dive. And No Tail gonna go ahead and heal up both of them with the overcharge and the two bottle charges. Probably also gonna pick up this invis rune in the top lane, so... I mean, he's already up to 740 gold with a bottle and a magic stick, so... No Tail off to a fast start, getting two kills for himself. That is Puppy. a smoke of deceit that they are... They're looking to see if they find the Meepo. No, it wasn't. I don't think so. The Observer Warp was here, and they smoked well, on the high ground, I'm pretty sure. I think one sure. of them was sitting there. Well, regardless, Lazard is... Uh, he actually might back away. Maybe they did see it. I thought for sure they didn't have vision of that. I think I they think did it, like, here. I think one of them was on the low ground. No, you I might think, be right. Yeah. Well, regardless, yeah, they are going to back away. It looks like they did see it, so I guess yeah. I'm wrong, but... So a little um, unfortunate that they didn't smoke on that high ground. Smart bugs. play, really good vision coming up from MY, even this ward, which is n not too commonly they, placed, but... They might find Lizard in the jungle on this Meepo. He seems to still have an understanding they're missing. He's actually just going to poof back to base and... Alright, so he's perfectly fine. They notice that there is a stack here, though, but they're going to wrap on mid again. Is Grazine dead? No. Uh, TP coming in from the Meepo, and they don't want to dive? Maybe they do. Puppy's thinking about it. He's just zoning them out with his body. I'm a Sven. You cannot man-fight me. Get away. And an immediate smoke counter smack actually coming out from Lizard. He's going to head to the enemy jungle, but there's no one down bottom here. I mean, you look at Simba. He's actually over here at the, the big camp. He'll probably devour one of these small creeps, and they are giving actually this lane to Mitch. They don't really seem to care that he's got 27 last hits. Hatawa is here as well. They're going to rotate through. They might find Simba. But are will they, they find, find Lazard? Lizards? Yeah, Puppy sees him immediately. Stormhammer? They can't kill him, I don't think. Oh, they are going to save the Stormhammer, so maybe they can get the Yeah, spell. I think he's actually dead. The Spirits is more than... He can try to poop away. The Earthbind! But no, it's not going to do much. Now they do get ensnared. Uh, the Earthbind coming in. Big Daddy is low to liquid fire. He tethers through, and now here comes Grazine. He might be able to get two off this. Maybe even none, actually. Big Daddy oh goes down to the neutral creep. The Stormhammer under Grazine. They can't pick a target. And Puppy escapes so far. He doesn't have Warcry, it's on cooldown, Kuroki backing away as well, Hatawa, arrow's gonna come in, there's the Liquid Fire, doing some damage, and the arrow snipe coming in from Mitch, what a beautifully placed arrow, what an assassin, that's a really that big kill, kill for them. That kill is really important because they wrote, they end up rotating five heroes into the mid lane, and we sort of saw this last game, MYI, you know, sure they're picking up these kills, but the amount of resources that they expend for every kill is... Is Hatawa dead? Moonlight Shadow's gonna go, the Spirit as well, Kuroki getting overcharged, again, just like last game, they fight so early, the Starstorm, though, Big Daddy in trouble, Stormhammer is not there, Kuro has his waveform ready to go, Lazard might be in some trouble, Moonlight Shadow, Kuroki gonna try to get the kill, he's gonna use his stats to get up the morph, now the Dream Crawl coming in, S4 has jaunting through, it looks like, cannot get the kill, they have to back away. Kuro stays alive, they lose two heroes, S4 getting liquid fired, he still has his phase shift, he has his jaunt up, his illusory orb in a second, ready to go, and he's gonna try to chase down Milan, or at least put some pressure onto him, but... Oh no. I mean, space created though, bottom lane for Simba. Alright, I thought Milan might go down, S4 deciding not... Doesn't want to test the THD's dodging skills in that particular situation, and... 
Well, a really... Okay, that's, uh... So they... <laughs> he... The bottom and the mid lane actually ended up getting storm hammered and was able to actually leap at dodge it, which is actually really difficult. I think there's a 0.1 second of invulnerability on leap, and you have to leap right as the storm hammer is going to hit you because it does follow. So, really good timing on that leap or I think he actually would have fallen in that mid lane. It's not easy to disjoint, uh, especially early on with a Marana. Nice play there. I didn't catch it, but regardless, he stays alive. He was very close to dying though. Uh, even without the storm hammer, yep. but it, it feels like MYI are not getting any farm really. The Marana has 30 CS, but other than that, I mean, it's just it's nothing comparable to the 56 of Kuro and even 35 of of S4 in the top lane. So yeah, and Simba actually getting to third on this last hit chart with 31 after completely sacking the bottom lane for quite some time. And then Puppy's here now. They actually have Doom up as well. So if they want to fight, maybe they can. There's the Warcry coming in. The Tawa's like, I need to leave. Am I going to get Doom? Is Mitch going to get Doom? Who's the target here? They want Puppy the Stormhammer. They they just clump up for it. And Mitch is probably going to die. They might be able to deny. No way. Hitawa now is going to get focused. Those spirits, those balls from the Wisps doing so much work. And Hitawa's trying to juke and jive as best as possible. Lizard, you don't want to be here. Time to poop out, buddy. And he does make it away. Relocate, they're gonna go on mid. Crow now gonna jump into Grazine and they're gonna fight this. Waveform has been used. It's on a cooldown for another three seconds. Grazine's gonna eat his tree and try to stay alive, but I mean, they see him clearly. And the Whirling Axes are gonna do no damage really to any of these heroes. And they get yet another kill on Kuroki, who's up yeah. to 2,000 gold. And I mean, I talked about this the last time that they did pick up this Meepo, but I'm just not sure how effective this four position Meepo is. Sure, they won that last game, but I mean. It just takes too long for the hero to ramp up as the forward position. I, and I think this is a bit of a different situation as well. Arrow? Puppy actually walks back into it. Ignite's gonna go. Not the longest duration. Good stun for Puppy to stay alive, but I think he should still go down here with the Ignite as well as the Fire Blast coming in and Marana Mara getting the kill with a right click, so... No, I agree with you completely. This Meepo is... It's gonna need to... Uh, I mean, he's he's currently completely ineffective, so he is stacking up this jungle. Gonna look to get some farm through these camps, but I mean, he's just so far away from even his first item, which is most likely going to be that agony scepter. He's gonna like the battle trance coming out from Brazil. They're gonna try to trade towers. The tier one bottom to the tier one mid. And it looks like they will get the tower. They do commit three heroes for it. Oh, the main line. Secret, they're gonna get this top tower as well, so it's not really gonna be an even trade. No, and they might even get Lazar. He's gonna walk right into the. Uh, he's gonna try to poop out. No, no, I don't think so. Kuroki just waveforms on top of him and gets the kill. And the Midas picked up four Simba on this Doom, so. I feel like the difference between this game and the last game that they had the Meepo is that Secret have the better late game. Oh, absolutely. Doom, and not only that, but Kuroki was off to a fast start. Doom with the Midas, we've talked about it. Agatim Scepter is just going to shut down so many heroes, so. Um, and on top of that, Sven can even transition into a somewhat decent carry late game if he can maybe get like a Mask of Madness or even like a BKB and God Strength and Blink Dagger. I think this Sven pick was really intelligent against the last pick Meepo because it provides that AoE to say what you really need when playing against the Meepo. Mm, it actually just destroys everybody, especially early on in the game. The Meepo's clumped up together, the double poof, the triple poof. It's not going to be as scary now. Arrow, face shift, nicely played from S4. Um... I gotta say, I'm still interested in watching. I, I thought this game the other day was pretty good. Doom coming out, Simba not gonna use it here. The Sentry's gonna get plopped down, I believe, but they back away with the Moonlight Shadow. They don't want to fight. The Observer one on the high ground. If they re engage on this, I would be very surprised. Kroki is actually just man fighting Waveform through. They know that they have vision now, and uh, Simba actually did not the tower. Spirits, Hitawa, Fire Blast going in. Is Hitawa dead? I think so, yeah. Storm Hammer now, leap away. And Mitch actually disjoints it yet again. Big Daddy relocates in. Arrow coming in. They will miss. And Puppy's getting low, but they do get the kill with the right click. A one for one exchange, support for a support. So already Secret being aggressive, but maybe much to uh, the chagrin. They're going to get killed. Puppy's going to throw up a, a Storm Hammer. There's the Doom coming in as well. Lazard getting Doomed up. Meanwhile, the Waveform in. They do lose the Doom. Buyback coming in as well. Lazard's still alive. He's going to stay alive. 
miss the, miss the waveform on Lazard, oh, potentially? No. Yeah, 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 and he's not gonna get the kill anymore. Well, Milan might die still. Big Daddy in some trouble, though. I think he just fought back. This is bad, actually, for Secret. Really bad. Drew Cole come in, but here's S4 to come and rescue the day. There's going to be a, a Ghost Scepter just purchased up for Kuroki at the right time to stay alive. Waveform Krasine is low. Not low enough. Kuroki is going to fall, finally. The Fire Blast keeps him in place. And uh, it was sort of like a repeat of last game at this time where they had a, a, a big lead. And they kind of just have a weird, interesting fight. Uh, but I mean, they were just up 7,500 gold, and now it's down to 2,500. I mean, so I would say, I mean, a little bit of a throw, but, uh, I mean, they're still in, they still have a commanding lead, I think, just because of the heroes that they have. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, Kuroki actually just missed two waveforms back-to-back. -back. That's a tough situation to be in. Yeah. It's pretty uh, unfortunate. Yeah, so... And... Now Lizard with that point booster onto the Meepo, so looking to pick up that farm. That was definitely the fight that MYI needed to get back into this game, though. Yeah, that, that is going to provide almost as level 2 divided we stand. Um, you get it at your level 10, obviously, so second clone going to come out, and obviously the Aghanim Scepter. It's still somewhat far away, but he could once he gets that third or that second clone, I mean, he could start taking these jungle sacks pretty quickly or even just splitting around the map, as long as he's not getting picked off, which... That is a big uh, if in this game currently with the heroes they have. So, but Secret have backed off. They've continued to farm. That was the Ghost Scepter picked up for Kuroki, like we talked about. So it is going to be an Ethereal Blade. The Casual Yasha into Ethereal Blade for Morphling. It looks like so. He's still farming away. Highest net worth in the game by about 1,200 against this bottom. There's a Storm Hammer somewhere, but it looks like he was just, was just farming. Yeah, yeah does go ahead and pick up those treads. So he's at treads and magic wand for puppy. What's on the wisp? Wisp gets up that urn. He has, I mean, he just had a die back, so probably not gonna see any item progression anytime soon for no tail. He was doing really well up until yeah. that point, so. And I think S4, did he have the blink in the last fight? Maybe he had just picked it up. I think he just got it. I, okay. I, I think that's why he wasn't there from the get-go. He was farming that blink dagger and getting ready to fight. So now that he has it, I think they if they want to fight, they certainly could a bit more aggressively. But for MYI, they're a bit more comfortable just sitting back and farming at this point. Although, Moonlight Shadow is going to go. Milan getting caught up. There's the sentry. They get the kill. That's the Drew Call coming in. They actually relocate for that as well. I didn't even see that come up from the minimap. Luckily, I catch the tail end of the kill. And it's going to be S4 getting it. No tail and Kuroki get relocated back down to the bottom lane. Top lane, Mitch is looking for maybe a hero to kill. That being Simba, but Simba with the game sense realizes that maybe he's going to get caught out. He backs away immediately. His Midas is on cooldown. Ugh, the efficiency. Uh, this hurts as a player sometimes, and it hurts as somebody watching the game to see. But he's going to go up and use his Midas real quick, I hope. So, I am interested to see when MRI do decide to look at Roshan, I think that's their next play. As they do have this troll, it looks like he is going to pick up the Vlad, so... Probably going to be looking to go for a Roshan kill pretty soon. Will they be able to do it successfully is the question. I mean, they do have... they have the Meepo, the troll, and the THD, so... They will it's, take it down pretty fast. And they have a good Roche fighting lineup if there is a, a contention from Secret, which I don't even know if that will be the case. S4 is going to grab a haste from top. They're looking for a kill. Here comes Simba. The Doom is up on Hatawa. This might be a free kill coming out. Illusion Orb, yeah. Hatawa's just going to die. Um, Battle Trance is going to go. Meanwhile, I'm not sure where. Mitch is going to have to leap to the high ground. They're still chasing after Milan here. Coil's gonna go in. Another coil onto poor Milan. He gets caught out. S4 with the Illusion Orb. The level death symbol gets the kill. Relocate top. They want to fight this. Grazine is low in life. He's actually at half. Waveform Croak is not gonna miss that one. And that's gonna be three dead for MYI. And this is the dangerous uh, potential uh, that we didn't see as much of in the last game, although it was still there. But the relocate ganks coming in underneath the tier 2 tower. Much less, so. And they're gonna not uh, stop as Mitch is gonna get Wayne Ripped and, and stunned and God strength and puppy's gonna hit him once he kills him. So. Bit of a different I think Morphling definitely a better hero to have combined with the Swisp. Right. With those relocate games, but 
And Lizard, he's so, farming away three Meepos now. He's actually one component away from Zagadim Scepter, but he needs his Blink Dagger. We talked about this before. He really needs a Blink to be actually yeah. to be able to do something with it. He is up to level 11, so doing pretty decently in terms of experience on that four position. I mean, if you look at the levels, I mean, Kuroki is level 11, but... I mean, we talk about this all the time. Meepo is definitely a hero that only functions from up being ahead, so... And it's gonna be tough because he's gonna get shotgun pretty soon. Speaking of getting caught out, Simba in the top lane. This could be a huge kill for Lizard. Although there is the Scorch Earth, another poop coming in. Earth is up in a couple of seconds. He actually can't secure the kill. He could have kept going there. There was nobody anywhere in the vicinity. They might have relocated in. He doesn't um, know that though, and it's really unfortunate. He missed the first Earthbind, which I think might have secured him that kill. I think he was microing one of his other Meepos. Didn't see the Doom quickly enough, and. A little unfortunate. Good for Simba that he does escape in the end, so... Scorched Earth providing yet another ridiculous escape for Doom in a situation where maybe he shouldn't survive. But a fight coming through, Milan. Uh, well, he That's just got Ethereal Bladed. <laughs> yeah, the shotgun comes out, Puppy's like, let me throw the Stormhammer. Ooh, the arrow on Kuroki, though. He is going to use his, uh... Morph Agility. Grazine's gonna come in. He's gonna try to fight this. They have Mitch in the backside. Big Daddy's gonna be the target. God's strength, and now they're gonna turn to fight. Grazine, actually the missed chance coming in on the puppy. He can't do any damage because of it. And now Lazard coming in. He misses the first Earthbind again. Kuroki's thinking about fighting. His Ethereal Blade off cooldown in three seconds. Doesn't have the most agility, though, to kill anybody. There it goes. Mitch is just gonna get away, though. The waveform, not enough. The Adaptive Strike, the right click from Kuroki should be there. Io gets the kill on Hatawa, and it looks like Mitch gets away somehow. Whew. He has just dodged a bullet. He had maybe 20 HP, maybe less than that, after the Ethereal Blade and the Adaptive Strike. God. And it looks like after that engagement, S4 is actually going to go for the Midas on the Puck. So going for that, I would say the new build that we've seen a lot coming out from Puck players recently. Go ahead and pick up that Midas after you get your core items in the Blink and Tier 2 boots. Just gives you a lot of power going into that late game. I gotta say also, and there's really only one player that I have seen not go with that build recently, and it's with Fata. him. Yeah, I mean, he, and he played so well without it. Hmm. That, that was a game where I was so impressed with his play. And obviously S4 though, one of the, if not the best Puck players around, uh. widely regarded for his Puck play, so he's had a good game so far. I... But I actually really like the Midas on this hero, and I commend whoever invented it, because it's really smart when you think about it from a theoretical level, just because the hero tends to not harm too well after you get these core items, because usually you want to move around the map, you know, create as much space as possible, use that coil, and this just gives you... It, it basically secures your late game farm and that next item that you're gonna go for. Yeah, I wonder who, do, who did invent the, the choice. I mean, and we keep using this term invent, it's a strong word, but... I mean, we come from NA Dota where Sam or Bobo invented Elder Titan, so... I mean, let's be real, it, this is how it usually goes. You're in a pub game and you see someone do something that you wouldn't have thought of, and then you're like, wow, that was a good idea. And then you steal it. <laughs> Are you calling out Sam Bulba so sale right now? I think you are. Ethereal Blade into Lazard as the fight's breaking out. Waveform not going to be enough, but the Adaptive Strike will be. The Aegis, the four-man coil, but where's the follow-up? Kuroki's going to get macro powered. He actually is in a lot of trouble. And he is going to maybe fall here. No, coming in, Puppy. Look at the damage coming in. The waning rift, the cleave. Simba coming in with the Scorched Earth. It's a full wipe coming out. Secret Obliterate, MYI. They don't even need Kuroki. Puppy says, I'll do all of the heavy lifting, guys. Was there was, was not even a cleave. That was, was that just a waning rift and a loose rear orb, and maybe Big Daddy with spirits coming in and destroying What's this people. this ogre's problem? I was just going to say, is that a Stormhammer or was that a Ravage? And he just all chats, was that Ravage? <laughs> oh my god. Did anybody get the number of that train that just hit MYI? Holy... That was a really impressive stun coming up from Puppy. I think it hit every member of MRI. That dream coil did work. It, it, it laid the foundation, if you will. Brick by brick, and then Puppy comes in. He's like, I'm going to tear this house down. He throws the strong hammer and just blows everyone away. So this gives them a full, just a huge advantage now. And the arrow's going to come in. It does split everybody. 
That might have been a target from Y, but I, I don't think after that last fight you want to fight anybody anytime soon. Oh, oh, we are going to see the Aghanim Scepter on Puppy. Oh, hell yes. I, I think this m might be the first time that I've seen it. I gotta... I wish I was better at that dude, man. This, really want to see who's picked up this item on this hero recently, if anybody at all. I don't. I have never seen it personally. I don't think you have either. Let's see if I can figure this out. Alright, well, meanwhile, if Foral's gonna type away, we're gonna have a Yule set through. That'll be up on the Simba. This might be an easy kill for Brazil here. Dream Call coming in, but it does really nothing. Other than stop the aggression coming out from Secret, but even still, they're they're ready to go. Uh, Thero Blade and Kroki just adaptive strikes the Jakiro. He dies instantly. Poop back in onto Kroki. He waveforms out. Brazil is gonna try to fight. Big Daddy going. There's the Dagon as well. The Illusion Rear coming in. And, and Puck with the level 1 Dagon comes out and gets a kill easily on Grazine. So a core and a support for two cores coming out from MYI. And, and Kroki still wants to fight. His Ethereal Blade ready in a couple of seconds. John away. Hatawa's going to get silenced. Waiting Rift. Puck finds another kill. S4 doing it again. And No Tail's back in. I think he relocated out. He actually might have. No, he bought back. Relocated in. They get Kroki a double kill. And at this point. I mean, you're just losing fight after fight after fight if you're MYI. And you're not even getting that much gold out of it if you're secret. I mean, look at this gold change coming through. It's it's really just... I mean, they get a lot of experience, yes, but... 20,000 gold. Yeah. Uh, they had that little dip where they you know, overextended in the mid lane, but... Lazard is dead. He gets caught out. He was... I don't know where he was going, but... That's an axe for Puppy now done. He's farmed so that up. Fourth, but... fourth game. Okay. Do you can you see if the if you can find out the total record of the item on that hero like win one loss? win two losses. So not it the was best. Purchased by come with me. S. Green or whatever. I don't know how to say his name and go black. <laughs> that guy has a really funny name. Oh my God! It's how are you dead? Oh, it's yeah, you're dead. Oh, oh the arrow! The arrow. That was really well timed. Mitch coming in though, but yeah, yeah Crook is fine regardless. It was just an impressive play. So I guess it doesn't really matter because Secret, they haven't secured a win yet, but at this point they're so far ahead that I don't know if this statistic is going to matter. Uh, Although I'm excited to see what this does as soon as it pops it. There it goes. I'm not sure if they planned this, but the axe on Puppy this game is actually really good because it's really good when you have a, a stat-based carry. I mean, he's getting 60% oh base damage increase, so on 186 damage. Actually, yeah, really they just blew up not only the racks, but they're probably going to blow up Milan as well. The Dream Quill going in. Lazard is going to take some damage here. There's the poop in. Simba getting low. Scorched Earth is available. Adaptive Strike. Lazard's still alive. They can't kill any single hero yet. I believe the Morphling more replicated out. They're actually okay with just taking the racks, relocating themselves away. On the backside, S4 is still in the base. He's alone. He's going to get bashed up. He's dead. And he was trying to get out, but uh, no such luck, and it looks like, like uh, I was dead as well. Just... Oh, Puppy's gonna come in! They get arrowed, but there's the Stormhammer and the Wave Foam coming in! They did not expect that! Kuroki jumps back on top of them, Grazine is finally gonna fall, there's the double, maybe a triple coming out. Yeah, absolutely for Kuroki, triple, and it is gonna be godlike for him, MYI are wiped, and uh... Stormhammer, these Stormhammers are just doing work against this Meepo. He actually just can't do damage. Is under attack. It and does feel like Secret are outclassing MYI, which yeah. is a bit unfortunate considering how MYI have played the past couple of games, but this is just Secret series, man. From beginning to end. Secret definitely looking like one of the strongest teams in the West. Probably the most consistent, I would say. You know, when you compare them to EG and Cloud9. Yes. I think we're on course for to see those those two teams again in the next couple of tournaments to get out. They are all three going to be at the summit. Uh, which, of course, I'm very excited. Uh, I will be heading there as well to be helping out the Beyond the Summit guys to be casting as well as observing and producing some stuff. So, big shout out to them for having me yet again this year at this year's summit. Excited to see all my friends again and and have a good time. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to rub it in your face. By the way, I don't. That's, <laughs> someday at 4L, we will be at a land together. Broke, he gets the kill on Hatawa, he and Ogre will fall, but... Yeah, and, and not only just the summit, but I mean, even this year, or this tournament, right now, Secret and... Well, hold that thought. Relocated, Mitch and Milan. They're getting chased down. Grazine's gonna... That, that is brave, Grazine, my friend. That is very brave, but perhaps too brave. Broke, he gets the kill. And, uh, and I 
expect we'll most likely see a GG coming out pretty soon. Yeah. The way that half played in the series are just there. It seems unstoppable. 27 minutes in, by the way, this has felt like a longer game. Big Yule Scepter coming out, avoids most of the ethereal blade. This could be Storm Hammer. Only the Lizard and Mitch. Now, S4 jaunts through the poop on a muff puppy. He does have cleave and god strength. Also, they do have all the bonus damage coming out from that god strength. The rest of Matawa takes like three hits and dies. And that's going to be the GG finally called as they are diving the base. They're diving the well almost to a certain extent. But 28 minutes in, and again, secret with the dominated performance. Yeah. Yeah, Io. Ridiculous. Don't give secret wisp. I mean, that's Man. pretty much all you can say about this series. Two really dominating performances coming out from Kuroki while he's being supported by that wisp. I mean, another game where he's over 700 GPM. I think he, what did he have, 880 last game? 16 and 1 on this Morphling. Yeah, it was 884, yeah. And. Puppy on the Sven, really impressive this game. I really liked his decision making, his early game rotations were spot on catching out that Marana at level 1, you know, ganking the mid lane constantly, and Secret just do a really good job. They just use the map so well, so efficiently, they play extremely safe in the early game, always looking towards the later stages.